Hi, good you're watching this video. In this video, I show you 20 theory questions, answers and explanations from the CBR category traffic signs. And if you think after this video, I want to learn everything I want to pass at the CBR, then you go to theorycourse.com. There you order your complete theory video course, including the mock tests. And now question number one. For which vehicles is the road closed where this traffic sign is placed? Answer A, for motorcycles and passenger cars. Answer B, for all motor vehicles. Or is it answer C, for all motor vehicles except lorries? The right answer is answer B. By this sign, the road is closed for all motor vehicles. So, you cannot enter this road with a bromobile, with a motorcycle, with a car, with an autobus or with a lorry. You may enter this street with a Snorfitz or a moped or bicycle. Question number two. Which traffic sign indicates an advisory speed? And you have to push the right sign. The first one, the second one, or the last one. And the middle one, the blue one, indicates an advisory speed. The first one is a maximum speed, and you find these signs above the motorway. And the last sign is the end of the maximum speed. So advisory speed is always blue. Question number three, which road sign warns you of an uneven road surface? Is it the east? And the second one here with the two bumps, it warns you for an uneven road surface. And the first one warns you for a speed bump. And the last one warns you for loose chippings. Question 4. At which sign do you not have to expect oncoming traffic? Answer A. Only at sign A. Answer B. Only at sign B. Or maybe answer C. Both at sign A and B. The right answer is answer B. Only at sign B. Sign B is a one-way road, so you may drive into this road, but on the other side of the road, for the oncoming traffic, they have this sign. And this means the street is closed. You may not drive into this street. You may walk in the street, but you may not drive in the street. And the first sign is a no-true road. It means you may drive into this road, but it is a dead end. So at the end, you must make a U-turn and go back. And at the moment you go back, you are oncoming traffic for the ones who drive into this street. Question number five. You want to go straight here. Can you drive through? Yes or no? And the right answer is no. In the previous video about traffic signs, I explained all those traffic offenses to you. And this one means traffic approaching this man from the front must stop. So can you drive through? No, you can't. Question number six. You want to turn left here. Can you drive through? Yes or no? And again, you cannot, because this man says the traffic approaching from the front must stop. And if you must stop, you cannot go straight ahead, but also you may not go drive on to the right or to the left. Question 7. You want to turn right here. Do you have to stop? Yes or no? And the right answer is yes. So read very well at the CBR. One time they ask, do we have to stop? 
and the other time they ask may you drive on so do you have to stop yes because this traffic officer say that all traffic approaching from the front of this man has to stop question eight you want to go straight here do you have to stop yes or no and again the answer is yes and i gave you three times the explanation so i think you must know this by now and almost every test at the cbr you get one of those traffic officers question nine at which sign can you expect pedestrians? Is it at sign A only? Is it at sign B only? Or is it at sign A and B? And that is at sign B only. Sign B warns you for pedestrians, so you can expect pedestrians over here. And sign E says the street is closed for pedestrians, so nobody may walk into the street. So at sign A, you don't have to expect pedestrians. Question number 10. What does this solid jello line mean? Answer A. This line indicates a parking ban. Answer B. This line may not be crossed. Or answer C, this line indicates a prohibition to stand still. And the right answer is answer C. A continuous solid jello line means you may not stand still here. So you may do here nothing at all. Don't let a passenger out, no nothing. But this sign is only for the carry its way and not for the verge so if you want to park in the verge here you are allowed to question 11 which road sign indicates a one-way road is it the first one the second or the last one and it is a first one the first one is a one-way road and on the other side of the road there is that red sign with the white stripe in the middle and the second one is an instruction to follow the direction zone by the arrow so in this case you may only drive straight ahead you may not turn right you may not turn left and the last sign it simply means access permitted so you may drive into this road and on the other side the people also may drive into this road. Question 12. You want to turn left here. Do you have to stop? Yes or no? And in this case the right answer is no because with this arm traffic approaching from behind must stop and you not approaching from behind you approaching from the front so you may go straight you may turn right and you may turn to the left question 13 at which sign may you drive straight ahead the first one the second the third or the last And it's the last one. The first one indicates that you may not drive into this street. It's a one-way road and closed from this side. The second one indicates that you have to turn to the right. So you may not go straight and not may go left. Only you may go to the right. And the third one lets you the choice between left and right. But... You may not drive straight ahead. And the last one indicates that you are not allowed to make a U-turn. You may turn right, you may turn left, you may drive straight ahead, but you are not allowed to make a U-turn. Question 14. Which sign indicates that the road is closed for vehicles, horse riders and persons in charge of animals or livestock in both directions? The first, the second or last? 
and it is the first one. With the first sign you may not drive into the street, not with a vehicle, not with a horse, no persons in charge of animals or livestock. And also from the other side there is the same sign, thus the same things. And the second one means no entry in this direction for vehicles, horse riders, persons in charge of animals or livestock, but only in this direction. And on the other side of the road you have the blue sign with one way road. And the last one, I told you a few questions before, is access permitted, so you may drive in this street. Question 15. What is the meaning of this sign? Answer A. A diversion route. Answer B. A route indication for scheduled buses. Or answer C. It's a signpost within build-up areas showing district numbers. The right answer is answer C. This is a signpost within build-up areas showing district numbers. And the vision route is always yellow, and I don't see any yellow over here. And a route indication for scheduled buses doesn't exist in the Netherlands. Question 16. Which road sign indicates a one-way road? The first, uh, the second, or the last sign? And the first sign indicates a one-way road. And the second one means you have to follow this direction, so you may only drive straight ahead. And the last one, for the third time, it means access permitted. Question 17. You want to drive towards Arnhem. When do you turn left? Answer A. When you drove over the bridge. Answer B, if you drove over the viaduct, or answer C, if you drove under the viaduct. The right answer is B. This jello symbol calls a viaduct symbol, and if it's vertical, you drive over the viaduct. And if you see on this sign, if it's horizontal, you drive under the viaduct. So in this case, at this sign, you want to top, go to RM, you must first drive over the viaduct and then you turn left. Question 18. What is the meaning of this sign? Answer A. Parking place for people transferring to public transport. Answer B. Parking place for restaurant visitors. Or answer C. Parking place for car coolers. And P plus R means park and ride. So this is a parking place for people transferring to public transport. And a parking place for restaurant visitors is with a fork and a spoon. That is this sign. And the last one, parking place for car coolers. In the Netherlands, they write down on the sign car pool. Question 19. Do you have to expect a bend to the left first? Yes or no? And I will always say, of course not, when the first curve goes to the right, and after that it goes to the left. So, do you expect a bend to the left first? No, the first bend is to the right. Question number 20. The last question. Are you warned about cattle here? Yes or no? And you are not, because this sign means wild animals. So that's no cattle. And cattle? This cow on the image that warns you for cattle. And these were the 20 questions for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you want to learn it all, you go to theorycourse.com and there you order your best complete theory video course of the Netherlands, including the mock tests. Thank you for watching. Gracias. Adios. Y ciao.